Well, good day subscribers. This series has been the most successful series on my channel so far, and I've gotten really great responses from all of you. But I have noticed that some users have been receiving errors in their code, particularly in the get historical prices function in the tradestrat.py file. After looking into the error, I found that Robinstocks, the API that we built our entire trading bot off of, has changed slightly. And so I wanted to update everybody on the changes to the code to get your code running correctly so that everyone can have a working Robinhood trading bot. So this is how to build a Robinhood auto stock trader in Python update. Let's get started. So first off, I just wanted to thank everybody for the responses I've gotten from this series. Like I said, this series has been the most successful series on my entire channel, and it has been really encouraging. So far in this series, we built a full trading bot system to interact with the Robinhood platform. This system included a trader, a trading strategy, and a grapher file. If you haven't watched that series already, I highly recommend watching the full seven part series so you can see how we built the trading bot from scratch. In this video, I'm going to be going through some of the errors that I've seen users get, particularly the 404 error that some users are getting in the get historical prices function in the tradestrat.py file. So let's fire up our favorite IDEs and get started. All right, so here we are back at the desktop and we're looking at our trader.py file. Now this is the same trader.py file that we built in the seven part series. And if you haven't seen that series already, I highly recommend going back and watching it before watching this so that you can see how the entire system was built and that way the update will make a lot more sense. So we just have our same imports, uh, imports the config, import tradestrat and import grapher. Those are the files that we made in the seven part series. Uh, and then our imports for the APIs, Robin stocks, date, time, time, and pandas. And we just have our same functions, log in, log out, get stocks, open market, get cash, get holding and bought price, sell, buy, build and build data frames. And then lastly, our main loop. And the main loop just checks if the market's open. And if it's open, it goes through each of the stocks that you have in your get stocks uh, function and checks the price and then gets a trading uh, option for that all coming from the trade strat. So what I noticed is if I went over here and I ran the trader, I would get this authentication error saying um, attribute error module Robin stocks has no attribute authenticate. And that's coming from right here, the login definition, login function, where I have rh.authentication.login and then it pulls from the config file to get my login. So looking at the Robin Stocks API, and I'll move my window right over here. If we go to um, authentication, here it is. We have Robin Stocks, but now it's robinstocks.robinhood.authentication.login, and then it still takes our same attributes. So what we need to do is go over here and change import Robin Stocks as RH to inst import robinstocks.robinhood as rh. And that way, every time we call rh, we're actually getting this full amount, robinstocks.robinhood, instead of just robinstocks. And that way, if we run this same section, it's going to load us in. So now we're getting the stocks, at least we're getting into Robinhood. We're getting the stocks, we're getting our holdings, we're getting the price for the first stock, INPX, and now we're getting this 401 client error. And I had said 404 before, it's, it's this 401 client error that most users are getting. And it's an authorization of the URL. So for some reason, it's not letting us into this uh, HTTPS API Robinhood. So it's not letting us into the API for some reason. And that error is coming from this file, which is the trade strat, trade strat dot pi file. So now um, we're kind of done with the trader dot pi file. So you guys can save that one. And now in the trade strat file, 
And this is the same file, like I said, that we built in the seven part series. We're importing pandas, some imports from Robin stocks, and then we have our entire file built in the object oriented style, um, all under the class trader. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen how this was built, I highly recommend going back to that seven part series. But the users are getting this error in the get historical prices function. So the first thing that we need to do is just as before, we need to import robinstocks.robinhood as rh. And it's very important that you have robinstocks.robinhood. If you don't have the .robinhood, you're going to have the same error as we did uh, with the authentication because now it's robinstocks.robinhood. So make sure you have that. And if we go over here to the API, uh, just the page, we can see why. So if we go over here to uh, historical, so this is the function that we're going to use to kind of solve this 401 error. And as you guys can see, it's robinstocks.robinhood.stocks.getstockhistoricals. And that's the function that we're going to use. So we need to do robinstocks.robinhood. So after that, now we've got the import all set up. And let's just see, I think it's going to give us the same error, but let's just check. Yeah, obviously we didn't change anything, we just added a new import. So what I've done to solve this error is this section here, which I built to kind of be able to customize the imports uh, for historical prices that I've got, I'm going to comment that out. So now we have uh, get historical prices and we're passing the stock and the span. We're gonna use this span interval thing that I built uh, to get the interval. It's not really needed. Um, you could do it a different way, but this way is kind of just simple. So I just leave that in span interval. So you give it a span and it'll give you the corresponding interval to whatever that span is. And then um, I'm just going to add this little section here. So due to some users receiving a 401 error, the historical data section has been updated. So this is just for you guys to know what the change was and why it happened. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take that function from the Robin Stocks API page, and we're gonna bring it right in. So this function is historical data. So we're still getting historical data that we're gonna to pass to the pandas data frame, but it's historical data equals RH. And remember that RH is robinstocks.robinhood now, not just robinstocks, dot stocks, dot get, historic, get stock historicals. And that is the same as we had um, from the Robinhood API. And we're still passing stocks, interval equals interval, span equals span, and then bounds equals extended. So it's the same as we were doing up here. It's just using the robinstocks API to do that pull instead. And this is gonna solve our error. So now if we go over here, um, we clear this and we rerun it. Now it's running happily and it's gonna go through. There's the graph. I'll move this over to the side. And now we can see that it's running happily. We're not getting that 401 client error. We're able to log into the API, no problem. Uh, and we have our graph set up. I think I have the span to wait 30 seconds. So we'll let it, let it run for just a little bit, just so you guys can see. But that should solve any 401 errors that you guys are getting. Um, remember to change that import from Robin Stocks to robinstocks.robinhood as RH. Uh, that's going to be the first thing. And then fixing this get historical prices function in the tradestrat.py file. If you guys have any additional errors, feel free to let me know in the comments or uh, any additional questions on the entire system. But that should fix the error and get you guys going. Uh, if you've been having trouble on this and we can see it's updating on the graph. As always, as I said in part seven, I am going to update the code that I have on my GitHub. My GitHub can be found at the URL that I'll run across the bottom of the screen. Um, so if you guys want to download the code to check against the code that you're building or download the code just to kind of run it on your computer and make sure it works before you watch the seven part series, you can go to the URL at the bottom of the screen and that'll take you to my personal GitHub page where I've uploaded the uh, updated files 
you can download them and run them on your computer. Remember that the trading strategy that we built in the seven part series was a very, very basic trading strategy. So I would highly recommend updating that trading strategy before you start actually trading with real money. But I just wanted to give you guys the option to see the actual files that we built in case you wanted to check something or want something wasn't quite clear in the video. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you with any uh, 401 client errors that you're getting. Uh, if you have any questions, drop those in the comments. And as always, thanks and subscribe.